What's up guys, Dean here. I just got done watching Backlash. I'm just going to get right to the chase. We have a new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And it is Jinder Mahal. Jinder Mahal. Clean pin to Randy Orton. To become the new champion. Social media is going crazy. It is going crazy. It's blowing up. Uh, I've seen a lot of people make YouTube videos already. And I'm like the last one to upload something of Backlash. Because I do it the next day. I don't... To be honest, I don't know how I feel about this just yet. When he won, yes, it was a huge shocker. But it was that moment like... Do I scream of joy or do I just sit there and be so pissed? You know, I'm on the... It's The only thing I liked about it, it's something new. You know, that's the, that's the only thing I see. But I thought Mahal wasn't going to get it, to be honest. Now, uh, why I say that is because when he hijacked the title on SmackDown, and of course WWE is having... The deal with India. But. So what? You're having a deal with India. So. What? Just because Mahal's the only Indian guy on the show. Now I don't know about you guys. Am I the only guy that was expecting Rusev? <laughs> Jeez man. I would have been more happier if Rusev came out. For the first time ever. I'll be going crazy for Rusev. I would have been saying. Oh. We're having immigrant versus immigrant right now. <laughs> we got an Indian guy versus a Russia guy. And I'm like, that's a war. That's a battle right there I want to see. Who knows? Maybe we'll see that money in the bank. But damn it, where was Rusev? <laughs> but overall, the pay-per-view... I thought it was decent. You know, NXT was definitely better. But overall... Backlash was actually... I kind of enjoyed it. Uh, let's just get right into it. The main event, Mahal wins the title. Which was an interesting match. You know, Randy Orton... Uh, the belt didn't even ring yet. Ma Randy Orton just went after Mahal. And the only thing is that uh, I just seen with Randy Orton... He paid a lot of attention to... I still call them the Bollywood boys. And we knew right off the bat when Randy Orton destroyed them over the commentary table doing the double DT, Mahal crawled around the ring, did his finisher. That, that was it right there. Cool. Uh, the women's match. I thought it. Uh. I didn't really care for that. You know, why did they they let Natalia win the match? Uh, because she had Becky Lynch tap out, which I don't think that should have happened in the first place. You know, I think Team Becky, Charlotte, and Naomi should have won that match. Then Charlotte could have, like, turned or... Just get ready to face Naomi for the title. So I just didn't care for that match. Uh, another match. Eric Roman versus Luke Harper. I thought that was going to be a pre-show match. But it's actually on the main, main card. Uh, it was... <laughs> it was slow in the beginning. But it started to catch up at the end. And Luke Harper won the match. And now it's back to Eric Rowan being the stupid jobber. Even though he won on SmackDown. Uh, <sighs> what else should I get to? I thought the tag team match was insane. Okay? The tag team match. I actually enjoyed the tag team match. Tyler Breeze was funny, man. He came out with the mop. And, we, you know, that fake mustache. Just a mop in the way into the ring. As one of the Usos had to break the mop. Then out of nowhere, when Fandango was in the ring, 
He made the tag to Tyler Breeze, and Tyler Breeze was dressed as a grandma. That was hysterical. I thought if if they would have won the tag team titles, they got my biggest respect. They actually got my big respect after the match they had with the Usos. I thought it was great. But unfortunately, the Usos are still the tag team champions. Great. <laughs> um. Uh, what else should we get to? The United States Championship match. I actually enjoyed it. AJ Styles and Kevin Owens did a great job with each other. There was a lot of sick moves that they pulled on each other. But as the match ended, it did not end in a clean pin. Uh, AJ Styles unfortunately got uh, got the count out because he got stuck. In that hole on the commentary table where, like, the camera goes and Styles' foot got stuck and he couldn't get out. And Kevin Owens got back in the ring on time. Then that's... Kevin Owens is still the U.S. champ. So that's why I could have told they were going to give Kevin Owens a clean pin to AJ Styles. I just had a feeling that wasn't going to happen. Or they would have turned around and gave Styles the championship. But... I guess they're just gonna wait a while, probably till like Money in the Bank or something, and we'll see what happens with that. But I thought that match was great. AJ Styles and Kevin Owens actually did a great job. Uh, Sami Zayn versus Baron Corbin. Now, to be honest, I'm I'm happy for Sami Zayn, but I think they should have gave it to Baron Corbin. You know, I've hear, heard rumors that Baron Corbin is supposed to be like the next guy to actually. Be a heavyweight champion. Now, if that was true, why have him lose to Sami Zayn? You know, that doesn't make sense. But that probably goes to show when money in the bank comes. If both of them are in that ladder match. Now, I could probably show something there. You never know. Sami Zayn could probably win that briefcase. You know? But I, I thought the match was okay. It was decent. It wasn't like, oh my god. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. That was it, right? Yeah, it was. The opening match of Backlash. Dolph Ziggler versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura made his in-ring debut. Love Nakamura. Glad he won the match. It makes sense. He won the match. A great way to kick off the freaking show. Nakamura nailed it. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching Backlash. Uh, <laughs> the re my Backlash review. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of Backlash. What do you think of Jinder Mahal being the heavyweight champion? And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Raw. Peace out.